password cracking using Hydra and Medusa tool. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. First of all I will show you that how you can perform brute force attack using Hydra tool inside Kali Linux and then later I will show you that how you can perform brute force using Medusa tool inside Kali Linux operating system. So first of all uh, I need to open BIOS and inside BIOS I will continue where we have ended in the last video right. So I will show you that how you can set up SSH credentials, SSH username and password inside BIOS and then I will show you that how you can crack that username and the password using brute force attack using Kali Linux operating system. So open BIOS operating system and Kali. So here you can see guys that I have started my BIOS uh, where we have ended in the last video right we have successfully set up SSH and telnet and we have provided an IP address in the last video so I will start from there. and. Kali Linux is also available inside our system. So uh, now what is next? Next is basically I will show you that how you can perform brute force attack on SSH service inside BIOS. Let me show you that how you can set up credential inside BIOS regarding SSH. So let me zoom it for you. So here we are. And let me show you that how you can set up a credential. So you can click inside and here you can type your set system space login user. Now I am going to provide the username which is admin space and then authentication. Let me correct it space plain text dash password this is dash password space then you need to provide the password so for example password is a 2 d 2 right so this is the password i want to provide so let me show you again set system login user admin is the username authentication space plain text as password a2 d2 admin and a2 d2 are the login credentials of ssh all right now uh you can click inside and hit enter all right now uh, you need to commit so type commit and save it so we have successfully saved the SSH services inside the BIOS. Now it's time to use Kali Linux operating system and uh, try to perform brute force attack on SSH. So let me go back to the Kali Linux operating system. All right. So we are going to use two tools, Hydra and Medusa. First of all, before that, uh, let me create a simple dictionary. You can also use some tools. I'm just trying to put some five to six words inside it. For example, our password is A2D2, right? So I want to check that if Kali Linux tools are able to detect the right username and the password or not. So let me insert some strings, for example, A2D1, A3D1, A2D1, or anything else, A2D3, A2D2, which is the right one, and then A1D1, right? So I'm trying with these five passwords. You can also try with thousands password, doesn't matter. Let me save this file on the desktop with the name pass.txt and click save. And uh, among them, one is correct, right? A2D2 is correct, others are incorrect. So I want to check that these tools actually work perfect or not. Let me try with Hydra. That how you can use Hydra to attack on SSH of BIOS. So open your terminal of Kali Linux. And here you can type Hydra dash H to take help of Hydra. So you can see here that uh, you can come up that this is Hydra, and uh, Hydra is a tool to guess or crack valid login in name and the password. And this is a simple example of Hydra that how you can use Hydra. Great. So because you, we know that username is admin, but we don't know the password, so we have created a password dictionary, and uh, we, we want to try with Hydra. So simply, you can type here. Let me clear this first of all, right? 
and uh, here you can type hydra space dash l for the username so username is fix admin space dash capital p capital p to provide the path of the password and we know that we have created a password file on desktop pass.txt so i need to provide the path of this password file so you can type here slash root slash capital t desktop slash pass dos txt which is on desktop space the ip address so we need to provide the ip address of the bios so let me check the ip address of kali linux because it is in the same series so 192.168.0.7 and the bios ip address is dot 10 right so i need to provide here dot 10 so the ip address of bios is 168 we have assigned it right in the previous video and then what service we are attacking on ssh we are because we have set up an ssh in the bios so this is the username which is fixed and i'm using a password list which can contain thousand words or a million words doesn't matter i'm just trying to check that if hydra is able to detect the right username in the password or not so i think this is correct and uh, now you can hit enter so you can see here that it has successfully cracked the password you can check here it's trying to attack on this so you can see this is the host which is bios this is the login which is admin and the password has been detected from this list it means actually hydra properly working it has detected the right username and the password from that list and target successfully completed so we have successfully cracked the ssh login and password using kali linux and using hydra tool now let me show you that how you can use medusa clear the screen you can again type medusa dash h to take help of medusa so this is medusa and uh, this is the syntax that we are going to use all right let me clear this this is also for brute force attack so how you can use medusa quite simple you can type here medusa space dash h host you need to provide here the ip address of bios or the target machine which is 192.168.0.10 space dash u for username so you need to provide here the username which is admin space dash capital p for password list which is on our desktop so i need to provide here the desktop path slash root slash desktop slash pass dot txt space dash capital m to indicate about the protocol service so i'm using sss service in bios so this is the syntax of medusa tool ip address of victim username of that service password list of that service and what kind of service it is now hit enter now it is trying one by one and here you can see that we got the success so the right username and the password is username admin and password is a to d2 and we got the success it means this is the right username and and that is correct because we know that bios username is admin and the password is a to d2 so you can see here that by using hydra and medusa tool we can actually perform brute force attack on any service inside router this because you know that this is a virtual router you can also attack on a real router inside your company using this method got it so that's how you can see that it's quite easy to perform brute force attack you just need to perform you just need to know that what kind of password that router can have and you can create a dictionary and inside the dictionary if there is a password available these tools can easily find it and pro can provide you the right one so we got the success and we have successfully performed brute force attack using hydra and medusa tool inside kali linux operating system if we talk about the section summary then what we have learned in this section first of all we have learned about what is router pen testing then we have learned how you can download and install bios inside your virtual machine then i have provided you information that how you can assign an ip address how you can start services like ssh and telnet inside your router 
And then finally, we have learned that how we can perform brute force attack from Kali Linux operating system. So this is all about this section and I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next section, we are going to learn about other major network attacks. So thank you so much.